Good morning. Buenos dias. Today we are hiking in Guajataca State Mark. Forest. Guajataca. Okay, Guajataca. We're headed for the Cave of the Winds. And just getting here took us into karst country, and which means we it's much lusher, and there's all these little mountains with super narrow, windy roads. Yeah, we'll show you the roads when, when we drive back, but it was yeah. uh, super, super, super narrow. Yep, but we're excited about this. There should be an observation tower ahead of us, as well as a cave that people describe as awesome. Yep, it's about two and a half kilometers to the cave. So uh, here you get a little view of the map and we're going to follow these signs. So off we go. Off we go. I wonder if this is the observation, it's not a tower, but... It's not a tower. Oh, history. Hey. The Guajataca forest was cut down almost completely for cultivation. In 1935 there were no trees. Wow. Just grass and shrubs. It was a, it was a coffee plantation. Eventually, the forest was restored completely through sowing. Hmm. Right, we're going to take a little side trip to the observation tower. Go up here and then head on to the cave. The damn snake. First damn snake I've seen. snakes. A few steps here. I ran this morning. So this is... <laughs> I just started. I'm already tired. <laughs> What's nice about the, this trail is they have these uh, little signs. Tells you a little about the, uh, uh, the flora and fonta here. This one's asking Thomas if it's, if it's a real pine tree. You can see over here in the distance, is that a real pine tree? It's a Caribbean pine tree. Caribbean pine can grow up to 148 feet, diameter of 3.3 feet. Little stations. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's a, actually a Boy Scout project. Here's the observation tower. Since it's a spectacular view, I know, I saw it. I was talking about it. Spectacular view from the high point of the forest. Go up here, see what we can see. Woo, uh-oh, needs a little work here. We could be part of the forest if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lean. Well, they're very, they're very steep, aren't they? Woo! Wow. So this is the most popular hill in this forest. The most visited. Uh, here's an open Woo. kiwi. We're out on the trail. Can't. We're looking for the kiwi tree itself, but uh, don't see it. But obviously, there's one around, and this is a. Uh, Quite interesting how it opens like this here in the wild. Yeah. So I'm here about uh, half a kilometer from the parking lot, and Lisa says that uh, we're supposed to continue on, on uh, Vereda number one and not uh, Vereda number five. Yeah. So off we go. Ah, Viva del Viento. All right, Lisa was right. Now we got some signs here. Still, still heaven, still heading toward the uh, cueva. There's another one on the trail. This one wasn't eaten out. It's still a little green. It's interesting. Huh. I wonder if this is it. No, this is not it, but uh, this is certainly a pretty intriguing cave here. Or at least sinkhole. I guess it's called sinkhole here. We're not 
but the cavish like sinkhole here in the, uh, the limestone uh, karst that goes down a long way and gosh maybe 30 feet or so wow oh. danger zone i think this must be the steps down to the cueva yeah, the danger zone huh danger zone because of the steps <laughs> Fix the damn steps. Alright, so we'll go down very carefully. Very on carefully on the steps, yeah. When they say there's this danger, they're certainly correct. Many of these steps are are broken and uh, some of the ones that are up there are loose and wobbly or as spongy. it is. Spongy. Lisa's coming down here with a lot I'm of caution to here. Keep my body where it attaches, hey. you know, because I feel like the middle could break off. Yep. Holy heck, I need a boy scout up here to fix this. They do. Like right now. And uh, there's no steps here. <laughs> and, and not exactly easy to traverse. But as Lisa said, I would actually prefer this than the steps. <laughs> And here is the entrance to the cave. Not exactly what I was expecting, but there's a big, lots of stairs going down there. So just a minute, we're gonna make our way down. And heading on down, rickety stairs. Awesome, our camera has a nice move. Yeah, well I made it down, awesome. survived. The, Survived the steps. Wow, look at those things. Wait, you can't see them. Man, it's unbelievable. There's a whole family that came down here before us. And there. I can't hear them. I don't see them. Who knows where they went? They have flashlights. They have to have flashlights. Oh my gosh. So sorry you can't see this on the video. My gosh. Unbelievable. Well, I'll get the flashlight. Yeah. Wow, this is just incredible. Let me move the flashlight up. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Oh, there we go. It's actually a plant down here, <laughs> shockingly. Some more. And then pan it up. And then to the left. And down. To the left. Wow. It's just amazing. Wow, I can't even get all this in my camera. This thing is just incredible. Wow. You had to turn it vertical. Let me slowly move to the right. Okay. Where is the bat? There's the bat now. This thing slowly go up. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Oh, there's a bat. Oh, we got another camera there. All right. Thanks. It's just a long time to lag my catching. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh, look at all the bats right there. Uh, right over our head. Yeah. You see them moving? Yeah. Yeah, with the light. Look at this okay. massive column. Wow. Wow. Lag tags are nice. Uh oh. Wow. 
can get that. I don't have trouble getting it myself. Let's just shut it off, honey. No, that's not working for me. This thing's huge. Wow. Wow. This is just incredible. And uh, get, let, let me hit this thing right here. There you go. Bottom, look at this. It's a wall. It's just a, a total wall. Wow. Working your way up. A tree in the groves down through here. Oh, you can't see it because it's right in the sun. But all the roots coming down here into this cave. Well, well, <laughs> the cave of the winds. We're what? very happy that we didn't die in the cave of the winds. I mean, literally. literally. For, for, first of all, you know, the, the steps into it were a little uh, decrepit. A little? A, a lot decrepit. Someone... They were so dangerous, there was a sign that said, Peligroso. Yeah, dangerous. I mean... And we ignored it and went past it, even though we had read multiple reviews of people saying that the steps were really dangerous. We just. Did it anyway. Yep. So instead of them fixing the steps, they just put up a little sign. Yeah. But uh, you, you've seen you've seen the video. I have some I have some shots of those steps, and they are literally very very dangerous. So we, but we descended them safely. Yep. That was the safe part. Exactly. So we got into the cave, and the cave was just beyond my expectations. It was just. Gorgeous. Oh uh, my gosh, it incredible. was uh, incredible. I mean, I mean, the stalactites, the stalagmites, what was in that cave? The bats. The bats. Yeah, it was just, it was just incredible. So we kept on going. so we kept going. We kept going. And going. And going. And going. And going. And, and then there was this Beyond where other people go. Well, there was this couple and... Uh, and and they, they passed they, us and, and she this, was very comfortable. Yeah, there was, exactly. And so this couple went there was a there was this cavern and this couple went sort of to the side well beyond where i thought i would i would be be comfortable going but she went through a little pathway and i said hey and she she made a comment about how something she wanted to show him it was clear she had been there many times yes. so i said oh if they're doing it we can do it so we we crawled through this little space stupidly in, into this into this other area kept following them got into this other cavern area stupidly stupidly and then all of a sudden, they're got, gone. They're gone. And we kept going a little bit further and we couldn't find them. We couldn't find them. And we're taking them. all these videos. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah. And then it was time to go home. So and that's where we realized we had screwed up. So we turned around and we walked for a little bit and we got into a cavern, a big cavern area but we couldn't find the exit to the cavern. We just kept going around in circles. So on the and around and around. I cannot tell you. There seemed to me no exit. Every way we tried took us around the same circle for I mean, a long time. We went around this, this three times and on the third time going around there we couldn't find our way out. I started to really get concerned. But before that I had already started to feel like we were going to die in that cavern. And there was no exit. There was no light. And I yeah. couldn't figure out how to get out. I was looking at my maps and none of them, I mean, I was, or I thought, okay, maybe I could follow my maps, my all trails app or my, uh, what's the other one I use? Um, map, map my run app. Maybe one of them will tell me my way back. But the problem is in that cave, we You're had in. no cell service. We had no GPS. And so we were just sort of guessing where we had come into the cave. So, 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 so we sat down, and by this time I'm starting to get 
I'm more, more than a little worried. Though he didn't say a word. But I didn't say a word. Though because... I said, I think we might die in here, Bob. Yeah. I, I, mean, I have this horrible feeling literally. we're going to die in here. I'm trying not to panic. I'm trying to tamp down my panic. But the fact is that we've been going around in circles and I'm afraid we're going to die in here. So we sat down and we decided to systematically go around the cavern again. And again, there was no exit, though during that one, I said a prayer. I said, God, please help us find our way out of here. And within a minute of that prayer, though Bob will probably not think the prayer caused it, but within a minute of that prayer, I saw a sight that we had seen when we came in. It was a... It was a little Put stalag. a picture up right now, Bob. All right, I'll put one up. So it's a stalag, stalagmite. With, with it had a, a big it had a big piece of crystal on it a big piece of quartz on it that i i thought was fascinating mm -hmm. and i saw that and i thought ah and we that, saw that on our way out all we have to do is turn around and go back and in that, that, that direction and that was about the place we turned around and uh, so and we found our way out uh, and, and we and we we found our way out and we're alive and, and but but we were in that one Thank cavern God. looking for a way out for at least, at least probably 45 minutes 30 minutes at, at least, least half an hour at least 30 minutes and uh it was it was enough time for your mind to start playing games with yourself and starting taking to you want... in very dark places yeah because because you because we knew we were in places that most people never would go to yeah uh just because of yeah. just because of of how we got there and who who we followed i don't know where that woman went um, but uh, I have no idea where she went, but, but I do know that I was looking at my camera. I, I was looking at my um, phone and figuring out routes. And I was looking at my little flashlight and being grateful that I had brought it because it's also a battery pack so that we wouldn't be plunged into darkness for a little bit longer. And yeah. I told Bob to turn off his cell his phone, phone yeah. so that we would preserve yeah. light because all I could think is the terror I would feel if we were suddenly plunged in the and, 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 and I have to say, that was the most scared I've ever been in my life. Me too, we thought we were gonna die in that cave. Yeah, that's yeah, that. But then I realized that I had told my brother-in-law, Mark, we were going to the Cave of the Winds. And if I never answered any messages from my sister at some point, maybe he would notice that and say, well, they were in the Cave of the Winds. So that was my only hope. And at some point, Mark would realize we were in the Cave of the Winds and maybe call Puerto yeah. Rico 911 uh, or I was, somebody. I was hoping someone would, would find our car in the parking lot and come looking for us I kept some calling point. out, too. I kept saying, yeah. hello, hello. But no, but no one was answering. But no, no one, one was answering. <laughs> but, uh, but, but when we found the quartz uh, yeah. stalagmite, then we were fine. We found our way out. Yeah. And when we got out, we immediately came back down the hill to where we are and bought ourselves a, alcohol. A strong drink, and we're gonna because have and we're gonna have another one because I, I don't feel like I've been that close to yes. to terror before or death. Yeah. But I have to say, Bob is an atheist, but I want to say thank you, God, for finding our way out within a minute of me asking you for help, and that I I really appreciate it. I'm really happy to be here, and if you ever go to the Cave of the Winds. Don't go too deep in. Don't okay? go too deep. No, nope. go go into go into the, the cavern, you know, as far as you can go without trying to go around something and in, into some small little space. Because uh, the place the place actually, you know, we don't want to discourage anyone from going there because the place was absolutely so st dangerous. absolutely stunning. It was it, is. it was stunning. I mean And it's also incredibly dangerous and, and the thing is people don't realize it. Maybe you have to be old like us to realize actually how dangerous this yeah, is. But it, it was it was it was it was stunning. You know, I mean So go there but don't go too deep. <laughs> and and until the next time we see you, may your suitcase always be messy and when you do this hike make you may you make sure you have spare batteries, Lot, flashlights, really good flashlights, flashlights, lots of water and extra food in case you get lost. Cell phone flashlights don't cut it there. Strong, strong flashlights. Strong flashlight. Yeah. I had brought a really strong flashlight that was also a charger. Yeah. And uh, I, I'll put a link to it on the bottom of this because I think if we'd been stuck there a day or two, it would have helped us survive. And so I'm go I will put a link there. But um, yeah. Visit the Cave of the Winds and visit, visit it visit. carefully. I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell since we're still alive if you want to see our future videos. And until then, 
Hasta luego, I'm going to get another drink. Me too.